tornadoes tore through our area. But in the wake of the destruction, our community is coming together. Yeah, agencies have been stepping up their efforts to help anyone who needs it. That includes local food banks. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us live in Fort Pierce at the Treasure Coast Food Bank with how they're helping. Dylan? Jim and Liz, trucks filled with food, water, and other necessities have been going out of here all day. And plenty of people have come by for pickups, too. The food bank's prep kitchen has been churning out fresh meals for families impacted by the tornadoes. Things are in overdrive here, trying to help people as they recover from the storm. The Treasure Coast Food Bank is working overtime, trying to help people that were impacted by the tornadoes that tore through the region on October 9th. It reminds me a little bit about uh, the beginning of COVID when uh, we were just ramping up and bringing in tons of food because we knew that we were going to have to respond to a large-scale disaster, and we also did not know how long that would happen. Chief Strategy Officer Krista Garofolis says they're ordering much more food, water, and other goods than normal because the disaster requires it. It's not just the canned goods that line every square inch of their warehouse or the care packages filled with non-perishables. They're actually cooking meals for people who no longer have a kitchen or home. That includes residents of the Spanish Lakes Country Club community partially leveled by tornadoes. We're doing prepared meals for those people. They've been displaced. They don't have a home to cook in, so we can't give them food boxes. So we've been doing daily cooking, uh, 2,000 meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, going out to Spanish Lakes. Truckloads of necessities are being sent around the Treasure Coast and even to neighboring states impacted by the recent hurricanes. We are still dealing with some of the, um, the impact from Helene in a number of areas in Florida as well as in Georgia and in North Carolina. We have, you know, really ramped up what we're doing, getting in as much product as possible to get it out to people and putting out calls for assistance to our volunteer base. That's what's making this operation tick. In spite of the crazy volume, people are rising to the occasion to help others in need. They're stepping up. We're asking people to come to our mobiles. They're coming out um, in very large numbers. Um, and we've had uh, requests for people to come and help in the kitchen. Um, people are getting back to us, you know, within less than 24 hours, we have shifts filled. They're still looking for more helping hands here at the food bank, so if you're willing and able to volunteer, look for the story on our website, cbs12.com. We have a link to the food bank's website there. For